Hey there, welcome to the latest edition of Legion TV. So today marks a special edition and a start to a new series from within my channel. The purpose of uh, the series would be to do interviews with friends, colleagues, etc. on their passions, what makes them, you know, tick, what are challenges, successes in regards to their passions. So today you will see the first edition of that series that I originally dubbed Coffee with Friends. So what happened was my good friend Adam and I, we went to a coffee shop in old Montreal and talked about his fashion for photography. Speaking of photography, um, if you notice uh, most of my intros and outros, I credit with him for taking those pictures. He is now a full-fledged professional photographer. And I am now go photo. So, um, enjoy. Let me know what you think. Good day. Welcome back. James over here. Coffee with friends. Cheers. Cheers, James. At Crew Cafe. Crew Cafe. It's a great spot, you know. Uh, thank you. Thank you. My first time here. What do you mean, thank you? This isn't your place. <laughs> but I appreciate you showing me this place. Like, it's beautiful. It's, uh... It's in an old bank, right? Correct, correct. And, uh, I don't it's think it's a beautiful um, place to have coffee. They even have little like nooks where you can have business meetings and stuff like that. It's That's a true. collective. They call it a collective. The crew collective. The crew collective. You can so. have. So basically, the way it works is um, entrepreneurs, business, uh, you know, business professionals uh, pay a VIP membership here uh, to you know have meetings and just. Just chill. Yeah, it's a really cool spot. They serve alcohol here, or just coffee? I have no clue. Oh yeah, okay. But they I, do serve coffee. They sure do. And you and have it's coffee delicious. with friends. It's delicious coffee, americano. Americano too. Yeah. <coughs> All right. So, so uh, what are we talking about today? So James? today, I chose you, Adam, because like a Pokemon, <laughs> I choose you, <laughs> Adam. No, no, no. All right. So, so. We're going to be talking about your hobby as a freelance photographer. So like I said, purpose of this channel is to learn about what my friends do and what their passions are. And of course, every passion is different. So we're not talking about another freelance photographer in the next video. Today, we are talking to a freelance photographer. So with that being said, Mr. Adam, tell me why photography? Wow. Why photography? Well, I've always been, uh, you know, a creative individual. Okay. I started off when I was young, uh, doing lots of drawing, painting, that kind of stuff. I got pretty good at it. And then, for Christmas when I was 15, I got a bass guitar. Oof. And I wanted to be a rock star after that. So I started playing music, you know, in various bands and, you know, started composing music and that kind of thing. Um, and you know when I moved to Montreal uh, three years ago or so, I started playing in a band here. And um, when I left that band, I still had to be creative, and I somehow just started doing photography. Um, you know, my dad he gave me his old 35 millimeter film camera, and I've been using that ever since, and it's been super fun and. Um, you know, I don't see myself stopping anytime soon. It's a, it's a really cool art form, and every day I learn more and more about it, and just see how deep the rabbit hole goes. You could think about photography as just taking photos. You know, they take a picture of a, I don't know, a penguin or something, and they think, hey, I'm a professional photographer now, but it goes way... Like with this iPhone 8, for example. I take a lot of pictures with this. And, you know, good resolution. Yeah, the photos are amazing on these things. But, um, you know, it goes much deeper than just taking a, a snapshot. You know, when you start playing around with things like the aperture and lighting and um, different film speeds and qualities, uh, man, it just goes, it goes so deep, you know. And I didn't know that until I started getting really into it. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. You know how I learned about your photography hobby? Instagram. Instagram. You just got Instagram and um, I was like, boom. I did. Wow. I didn't know Adam was an accomplished photographer. 
Oh, oh that's no, very nice of you I to work, say. work with this guy. I work out with you at the gym. But now, it goes to show, you are multifaceted. That's right. I'm more than just a pretty face. <laughs> so, enough talk. Let's uh, show you the goods. Absolutely. Hey, this, is my, this is my dad's old uh, film camera. Check that out. That's the Nikon F90X. 35 millimeter and um, yeah it's a great little camera the F90X was the Japanese version of the N90S wow. released in uh, I think it was like the early 90s mm. or mid 90s or something like that okay and these came out like pretty much right on the cusp of analog digital you know this is like I think right before digital cameras I could be wrong on that but uh, awesome awesome camera takes really awesome photos and um, vintage vintage yeah how did your dad get the camera it's a Japanese exclusive he bought it with money <laughs> and uh, yeah I don't know that's a good question I don't know why he got the uh, F90X and not the N90S I'm not, I'm not too sure so but yeah he bought it with money hmm. true that true that and your pictures from what I know is on Instagram at Adam Niagara Folo are pretty pretty top notch thanks yeah so adam wait what happens if you film your screen do you get like a crazy feedback loop like put the camera like what happens whoa dude <laughs> look at that <laughs> all right so what do you want to know about this uh, so adam yeah can you explain to me some of the features of this camera that makes it unique other than the fact that it's a 35 millimeter camera well yeah it's a it's an old film camera right so um I don't know what makes it unique. Well, the F90X, you can't find these in North America. As I said, this is a Japanese version of the N90S. Pretty much the same camera. It's, um, I don't know, it's got an F and an X instead of an N and an S. Okay. But I think it's pretty much identical. Um, what else can I tell you? This is my go to lens. It's just a uh, Nikkor 50 millimeter 1.4 prime lens super versatile I use it for most of my applications I also have a nice portrait lens uh, that uh, I use for you know awesome portrait awesome. applications um, what else is cool about this thing um, it takes nice pictures you know Can't argue with that I yeah mean, Instagram shows it itself and oh. Adam micro photo that's right so um, yeah so I mean it's a it's a camera you know it's a it's a film camera you know what sucks about film though why look at this what what are you noticing here is missing mm. the preview screen you know with a digital oh, camera yes. you can take a photo and it shows you right away what you just took a picture of that's why this is vintage and then you can you know change your settings or like you know adjust what not you with this sold this camera what if I resold this? Yeah. My father would kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I would never sell this thing. I mean, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's been a great tool and I love it. So, yeah. Perfect, perfect. Thank you, Adam. So, um, so uh, can you explain to me what kind of pictures uh, you've taken? That's a very good question. You know, uh, we live in Montreal, right? Yeah. Montreal is a very... Um, it's a very photogenic city. You know, you got the old port, the old Montreal, you know, that's hundreds of years old, really nice cobblestone, old buildings, that kind of stuff. But you also have the modernist architecture as well. So, you know, I was just kind of inspired by Montreal. It's a beautiful city for the architecture. So I started with that, you know, and they say that like street photography is the easiest photography to do because you're not dealing with other people. You're not dealing with models or uh, you know yeah. runway fashion crap you know it's just one shot stationary done. buildings yeah. you can't or there's no ego with a with a bridge yeah you know what I'm saying so yeah I just started off doing mostly like uh, architectural type stuff and then okay. you know slowly getting into you know other you know portraits and uh, Branching uh, around. Yeah, branching out a little bit. I want to start trying um, product photography. Okay. In what sense? Well, 
You know, you look at a magazine and you see a really nice, beautiful image of a, I don't know, like a bottle of cologne or something like that. Okay. It seems very like corporate, but the lighting that goes into that to make that bottle of cologne pop and look really nice is actually an art form in itself, like lighting. I'm just starting to wrap my head around, uh, you know, the deeper under the deep, like the intricacies of lighting. Yeah, lighting. It's yeah. Dope. The lighting in here is really poor, yeah. actually, because uh, you can probably see our faces are almost completely black due to the shadows uh, being created. Well, but it, you make do with what you got. Yeah. Right. Maximize, you know, like. Uh, the time given to us in, in regards to you know our location and we chose this place because it's a very nice coffee shop check out Koo Cafe if you haven't already near Square Victoria Metro in Montreal yeah it's awesome this is my first time here and uh, I've been here a few times already it's really cool you were telling me it used to be an old bank yeah an old bank yeah, I don't know what bank exactly you see IPC or something like that but uh, you can check out their website uh, Google it so I'm still learning you know, and that's the amazing thing about any art form is that you can really, really go deep into in, in, into all the different facets of it. You know, and what kind of pictures uh, do you take mostly? Uh, so um, I started off taking a lot of just you know street photography type stuff. Okay. They say they say street photography is actually the easiest form of photography because you know you're dealing with buildings and bridges and uh, alleyways and stuff like that it's it's all stationary stuff you don't have to deal with a model or uh, I don't know you know there's no ego or anything with a bridge there's uh, it's you know it's I don't know so I started with that and you know started getting more into portraiture and um, and uh, I don't know I just try to try to keep pushing myself and learning and taking photos of different things and different conditions and different film types, different lenses. Um, yeah, it's, it's a never-ending learning process. Seven months ago, it was even summer, so you get to take your first summer pictures. That's right. I'm excited for that because uh, the lighting the lighting is going to be nice and I'll actually have some good light after work to, to work with, so that'll be nice. Daylight savings. Tell me about the farmers. The farmers, I don't know what it was, but the farmers are the ones to blame. When we lose an hour of sleep on uh, March, whatever it is, you can blame the bloody Why? farmers. I don't know, something to do with agriculture and uh, they wanted to get more sunlight out of the day. Hmm. Oh, maybe <sighs> they, they measure like the, what they grow in the crops? Yeah, I don't know. That, you should, that, you should that, have a farmer on your show next time and ask him. I've met. Do you have any farmer friends? <laughs> I think I met some in school, but like I don't. Oh, really? Nothing. No one comes off the top of my my head. But if you're a farmer and you're watching this video and you somehow met me before, or if you're interested to be on this video as a guest, let me know. Comment below. Cheers. Cheers.